Hey everybody, we're going to learn about the concentric constraint during this session. So uh, to do a concentric constraint, we first have to uh, start a sketch and we need to be using circles. All right, so I'm going to do a circle there and we'll do a circle there. And then um, I'm even going to do an arc, center point arc. So I'm going to go from there to there to there. Okay. So if I uh, want to do concentric constraint, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap two centers. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to tap two circles. And I'm going to go to my sketch tools, and I'm going to choose the concentric constraint. What that does is puts one circle, um, both circles, at the same center. That's what concentric means. I can do the same thing with this. Make that concentric, even though it's just an arc. All right, concentric means having the same center. Um, if I were to now try to move that center, all right, notice that um, that arc changes size, and that's because I have not defined its size. I actually don't have a, um, a dimension on that arc, so it's just going to move and get bigger or smaller depending on where I move that center, which is kind of interesting. The circles themselves um, are just kind of changing uh, their position, but I can change their size still. All right, it's just that they're concentric and they're staying fixed to that point since I'm not moving the point right now.